discussing in Hot Topics, America heads to the polls in just 28 days. In last week's debate, as we said, has President Obama and Governor Romney neck and neck. So it's the perfect time for a visit from who else? But Bill O'Reilly, who also has a new book, you can clap in a minute, about, <laughs> about a tragic chapter in American history. The book is called Killing Kennedy. So please welcome back Bill O'Reilly. Sean Hannity, and we might have kissed him, just saying. <laughs> I have okay. chap lips. Uh, okay, so, uh, you know, we were, we were just talking about, uh, about Lincoln and the, and the new film, and of course you have a bestseller uh, about uh, killing Lincoln, and now you have a new bestseller about killing Kennedy, which we're going to have time to, to I'm sorry, all my jewels are falling, my right. fake earrings are falling on. Um, but we want to start, of course, with, with the debate. The first thing is your debate that you had over the weekend uh, for uh, John, with John Stewart right. for, uh, you know, Rumble. Was there anything important that came out of that, or was it just kind of fun? No, there's nothing important. <laughs> You know, Stewart's in the hospital, by the way. We wish him the best. And, uh, yeah, he collapsed after the debate. It was just too much for him. It was too much, and he caught the top of it. Actually, I said on my program last night, it was, it was funny, and, and he's a solid guy. I like him. But there was a very important underpinning to all of the uh, stuff that was flying around. And, by the way, this is for charity, and if you'd like to see it, it's on rumble2012.com, four ninety five. But it was an hour and a half of basically a liberal point of view, Mar, against a traditional point of view, me. No, you mean Stuart, Stuart. not Mar. No, I'm sorry, Mar. Why do I have that? Stuart. And you said, and you and said traditional, which could be conservative. It, in, in some areas it is, but in some areas it isn't. Okay. Um, for example, Stuart and I agreed that the Iraq war should not have happened. Oh. All right, so it's, it's not What's a dialogue. What's the biggest disagreement? Correct. On government, the size of government. He believes, uh, John Stewart believes, that the government is in place to promote social welfare and, and that the government should basically ensure economic outcomes and if you're in trouble, come in and help you. Okay. Um, I believe yeah. that the government should provide a safety net, okay. all right? But it is not to be intrusive. It's to give you the opportunity to pursue happiness but not guarantee happiness. Okay. We, so can I ask you a question? So do you believe that the government should not be intrusive when it comes to social issues also? It depends on what the social issues are. The government has to provide a uh, modicum of protection for people, and that kind of bleeds over into social issues sometimes. Well, v. Wade. It, it just depends on what the situation is. These are complicated issues. You have a privacy aspect to it, but you also have a protective aspect to it. So it has to be, those kinds of things shouldn't be emotional. They should be very, very methodically thought out and executed. We had some funny moments because there were some funny moments, and we're going to show a moment or two of your funny moments. All right, right now. Here let's we go. go. I gotta tell you something. Keep going. I can see why Obama did badly in the debate. The altitude really is rough up here. If you could see any American elected president, who would you choose and why? Well, I'd say any Clint Eastwood would have to be my guy. <laughs> well, why don't we ask him? How is it the two personalities, such as yourselves, who are almost polar opposites politically, share a willingness to come together when Congress can't? <laughs> And what would you like for Christmas, little boy? <laughs> you gotta put that. To put that into context, he was giving me jazz about the war on Christmas yeah. uh, before that, saying, oh, you made it up, there's no war on Christmas, blah, blah, blah. and so that's why that line came out when he if only said, and that was the highlight time. of his life, by the way, because he on my lap, and he was, lap he there. was just ecstatic about yeah, it. Well, that's not what we heard, but oh, well, then why did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> I think he Maybe it was the highlight of your life. Yeah, you know, I have a pretty boring life, so that could be considered. I think if only that both sides could get along the way you two did, but you, you think uh, this next debate coming up, is really, really big. Now, if, if Mitt Romney wins, 
this debate, then what do you think that means for President Obama? Well, I don't think the debate coming up is really big because okay. it's a town hall situation. Okay. Uh, this is what people don't understand. Okay. Uh, Romney obviously helped himself. I mean, uh, there's no doubt. And, and his campaign has momentum now. So he is, you see it in every poll, everywhere. Yeah. He's starting to come on, and Americans are going, you know what, he could be president. You know, even if we don't like him, he mm -hmm. could probably do the job. <laughs> the next debate is at Hofstra University out on Long Island, and it's a town hall. That means that you have people standing up to the microphone, making speeches, talking about their cousin Otis, <laughs> and, and basically these guys are going to be able to say whatever they yeah, want. What's your favorite movie? Right. Yeah. Whatever they want. So you can ask them a question. They're not going to answer it. They're just going to go like that. So I don't know. There's but not a lot of potential. That, couldn't that increase Obama's likability? Uh, well, closer, I, yeah. you know, Obama is likable. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he has to increase his likability. He has to increase his credibility. You don't think the next debate is going to be as important? I as think it'll person. be a stalemate if I have to predict, and then you're into foreign policy, and the president's got big yeah. problems in the Middle East right now. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're just looking at it from a, a wide point of view, the advantage is to Romney right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until he starts talking about who the enemy actually is. I mean, do you think any of that is going to come back and somebody's going to say, listen, don't talk about Russia again, because it's not I think a good those idea. are very micro issues. I think people are interested in the Russians. economy. No. <laughs> the really Russians are the Russians. Yeah. We're here in the USA. People... No, no, I'm talking about the Russians here, Dom. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know if they're going to make the carry the day, the Russians here. Okay. Um, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, so it's okay to insult the folks. That um, his credibility that he yeah. says Russia is the big enemy that we have in this world. Yeah. That speaks to, to Romney's well, credibility. Don't care. They don't care. They want the economy fixed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know what you care about, and you care about talking about your new book, Killing Kennedy. Yes? It's so, a good book. Okay. Well, good we book. didn't expect you not to say that. By the way, I have read it, and it is a good book. Uh -huh. Bill, uh, don't take that as an endorsement. Oh, Bill, Bill is staying with us. <laughs> yes, I did. That too. We'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, Bill. of the new bestseller, Killing Kennedy, which has already sold, get this, 250,000 copies in just a week. Mm. Yes, and you're going to be contributing to that number, I bet, if it's anything like Killing Lincoln. <clears throat> um, this book is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to read it this weekend. So you talk about the day of Kennedy's death, talk about Lee Harvey Oswald. What was, what was his mindset? What was it like? Did it have to do with his marriage? Was it because um, of his politics? Like, why did he was want... He was he alone? Yeah, he was alone, but uh, we got access to the FBI guy who was assigned to a Marine Oswald, his wife, right after the assassination. <laughs> Never talked to anybody before. So we know everything that Oswald did from the time he met Marina in Minsk, Russia, to the time he killed JFK. Mm. Right. And he's a loser, bottom rung, um, and wanted to be this great man, and he felt the only way he could do it was to commit a violent act on a famous person. He tried to kill a guy named General Walker. He missed that shot. He tried to kill Nixon. Marine actually stopped that, but he did succeed in killing JFK. But you know that I'm a little compulsive, so I've read the book already. Good, I'm glad. Okay. Um, and at, by the, I think it's a very good book if, if for young people who don't know that much of the story. It's a very easy read. But it also had to do with this trying to keep his marriage together, which a lot of people didn't know. Oswald's marriage. Uh, uh, Oswald's doing right. the murder had to do with The day his... before Oswald killed Kennedy, Marina threw him out of the house mm -hmm. and said, that's it. And that made him snap. He was thinking about doing it anyway, and he was preparing to do it. Uh, he, he had his rifle. He was taking target practice. He was a Marine, by the way, mm -hmm. a Marine marksman. So the guy put two rounds in the presidential limo in three and a half seconds. That's hard. Uh, and he did it, and we traced the bullet and all of that. But we'll, when you read this book, you're not only going to know how JFK died, but you're going to know how he governed in the three and a half years that he was well, there. Bill, there's so many theories going around about uh, President Kennedy's death. How come you think there's that many theories? The, uh, the, the long, well, there's the a long lot of money to be made yeah. on, on conspiracy theories, not only there, but everywhere else. But we went just the facts. And if we don't know something, and it was a guy swirling around Oswald that should not have been there, right. um, we tell the reader. Yeah, we tell the reader you, that. You do not, you don't come right out and say it, but you do not believe there was a conspiracy. There was not another gunman. He was the gunman. But did somebody urge him to do it? It's possible. Well, so is, uh, there seems to be some questions that you weren't able to answer about yeah. Kennedy. What, what couldn't you find out? We couldn't find out this man, George DeMornshield, with CIA contacts, mm -hmm. what he was doing with Ken, uh, Oswald. Oswald, as I said, uh, loser, lowest rung. This guy's an aristocratic Russian mm -hmm. with CIA connections. Why was he around? Mm -hmm. We couldn't really nail that down. I will 
but I haven't yet. So your, your feeling is that the motive to kill him was just a purely personal, that yes. Oswald was a loser no, but he was also and that anti communist. Was no, Oswald was a communist. Yes. Uh, but that but, didn't. But Kennedy was anti communist. No, but he didn't hate Kennedy. Um, Oswald didn't hate Kennedy. Mm. Oswald just wanted to make a statement to the world that he was a powerful man. Oh. And so that's why. It could have been, it, it been wow. anybody famous. Why didn't they right. protect no. Kennedy? He was out there with his head uh, exposed well, to we the go, elements. Well, we go over that in minute detail where the Secret Service was how they lined it up, uh, and how Oswald was lucky to be in the school book depository. He worked there, right. okay? And he was just in the right place mm. at the wrong time. Right. Fascinating By read, the though. Say though. That, that killing Lincoln is now going to be done as a, as a movie with yep. Tom Hanks as the narrator. Mm -hmm. you, Tom and Tom, Hanks. you and Tom Hanks have not always we were We're not exactly bosom buddies, uh, if you remember that. that he's doing this. <laughs> yeah. But he's doing it. He's a good history guy, and we're, we're happy to have Tom All on board with that. All good things come together in the end. Bill, we are glad to have you here. All right, ladies, Fascinating thank you very read. Much. Our thanks to Bill O'Reilly. Members of our audience are going home with a copy of his new book, Killing Kennedy, and his new children's book.